one. Watch that clock. The world record, 720.67, is going to be smashed here by the Norwegian. It's a world record yet again for Jakob Ingebrigtsen. Well, would you look at that? Another ridiculous world record broken by the 23-year-old Norwegian Viking, Jakob Ingebrigtsen. Except this time, he took down the record that many thought would not be broken for decades. In the men's 3,000 meter distance, Ingebrigtsen achieved a time of 7 minutes, 17.55 seconds, slicing more than 3 seconds off the previous world record of Daniel Komen that had stood since 1996. That's almost three entire decades, and Jakob did this with unbelievable execution. After placing fourth in the Paris Olympic Games in the men's 1500, Jakob has officially bounced back with two incredibly dominant wins, one in the 1500 taking the victory over the Olympic champ Cole Hawker, and now this, a timeless record that unquestionably proves Jakob's true abilities across various distances. And for this 3000 world record, he achieved a per lap pace average of 58.3 seconds. This man is just built different. Right now, Jakob holds three world records out of the seven big events in running, and these include the 2,000, the 3,000 meters, and the two-mile distance. Now, in a recent post, Ingebrigtsen made the reference that he is very much interested in chasing these remaining seven, and from various perspectives, these world records will include the 1,500, the mile, the 5,000, the 10,000, the half marathon, and potentially the marathon, and if seven is, in fact, the magical number that he's looking at, Many have posited that he is also talking about the 3,000 meter steeplechase, while some others believe that he might push for records such as the road racing mile or the road 5K or 10K. Jakob is good. In fact, he is slowly entering the conversation as one of the greatest distance runners of all time, from his 5,000 meter global wins, to his combined personal records, to his newly minted 3,000 meter world record, he is climbing the ladder of greatness in a way that we have never seen before. But how in the world did he achieve this world record of the 3,000 meters, which was a record that many thought would never fall? Well, let's take a closer look at how exactly he achieved this historic feat. Now, to kick things off, the conditions for this Silesia Diamond League meeting were far from ideal. The temperature, which is clearly one of the most important variables for a distance running race, was a soaring 88 degrees Fahrenheit, or 31.1 degrees Celsius. Anything over one mile in distance in this kind of heat is probably going to result in some serious heat-related issues, and potentially it will take off a good chunk of time. But don't tell that to Jakob, because while the first half of this race was already super impressive, the second half of this men's 3000 was a closing stage for the record books. After crossing through four laps in three minutes and 56 seconds, Jakob officially began his legendary mark to the tape. With every passing 400 meters, he was dropping some of the best runners in the world, and he was also making it look insanely easy. For the final four laps of this world record, Ingebrigtsen achieved a mark of 3 minutes, 51.5 seconds, which, honestly, is one of the most incredible closes in 3000 history. For his final 800 meters, he hit a mark of 1 minute, 53.05, a super competitive close in literally any event where you run. And for his final 400, Jakob's split was an astonishing 55.4 seconds, with a final 200 split of exactly 27 seconds. Now, there's a full breakdown made possible by the Omega team and the Diamond League officials from this meeting, so I'll put that full link in the description for anyone wanting to take a closer look at this event. But even off of the paper, seeing Jakob close like this against many of the best athletes to ever run was just incredible to witness. And given the context of this race, we have to give credit where credit is due. Taking down any world record is already a lifetime accomplishment that ensures your name in the record books forever. But this record was different. This record had stood for 28 full years, and it was held in such high regard that even Bernard Lagat, the second fastest 1500 runner of all time, said that he believes that this 3000 world record was the most difficult time to achieve across the entire distance running spectrum. And yet, Ingebrigtsen obliterated this record by more than three seconds. Now, something that many people discussed and latched onto was the fact that the 3000 meter distance is not an event run that often, and it's not even run during the Olympics, so why should anyone care? And to that argument, I would say, 
take a look at the top 10 all time over the 3,000 meter distance. This is a literal lineup of legends. You've got Inge Brixen up front, the rising star, and the athlete insured to run more records in the future. There's Daniel Coleman, who set some of the craziest marks in running history. We've got Barihu Aragawe now in third, the current 5K world record holder and the owner of a 1240 5000. And there's El Garouge, the middle distance running goat, who not only has world records in the 1500 and the mile to this day, but he is one of three men ever to win the 1500 and 5000 meter double during a global championship. And he did this double against Bekele and Eliud Kipchoge back in 2004. There's also some serious heavy hitters, including Kajelcha, Lamecha Gurma, and also the man who many consider to be the greatest distance runner of all time, Haile Geber Selassie, who was a true pioneer of running, and he had a staggering 27 world records to his name during his running career. Even against the greatest runners to ever run, who also ran the 3,000 meters quite often, Inge Brixen absolutely smashed this entire list, moving him yet again slightly higher into the conversation with the greats. But after this race went down, I wanted to know objectively how this placed Inge Brixen against some of the greatest runners ever based on time. And thankfully, we have actually already taken a deep dive into this very question in the past. If we go all the way back to August 3rd of 2020, we uploaded a video looking at the actual fastest distance runner of all time and what their total running history looks like. Now, this is not a perfect measure of speed across the entire distance running spectrum, but it is an interesting breakdown as it looks at the 1500, the 3000, and an athlete's 5000 meter bests, and they combine these times together to see where athletes stack against each other when looking at these personal records. Now, back in 2020, Inga Brixen was still a rising star, but he hadn't quite made a name for himself as a true global superpower. But after this season, and after a few previous years, he has clearly joined some of the greatest ever. Back in 2020, here is how the top 10 list looked like, with some of the typical athletes that you would expect to see on this list. There's El Garouge, there's Geber Selassie, there's Ken Anissa Bekele, and then at the very top was Daniel Komen, with a combined time of 23 minutes, 29.20 seconds, outperforming literally anyone else in history over these three distances. Now, I wasn't exactly sure where Inga Brixen would fall on this list, but when added together, his total times over the 1500, the 3000, and the 5000 equate to a time of 23 minutes, 32.73 seconds, which actually places him ahead of any other athlete in history except for Daniel Komen. Now, the obvious reason for placing second here is the fact that Komen's 5000 meter best is almost 10 seconds faster than Inga Brixen, and yet Jakob is right there. So if he can just lay down one additional 5000 meter race and improve by just a few seconds, which I really do believe he can, he will be the fastest ever in these three combined disciplines. Now, it's also noteworthy to mention that Yomif Kajelcha has moved up very high on this list as well, as he now ranks third, only behind Inga Brixen and Daniel Komen. And I'm sure others have moved up as well, but for this video, I was mostly concerned with how Inga Brixen stacked up against this previous list, which was uploaded more than four years in the past. Inga Brixen's outstanding exploits have honestly been incredible to witness. Yes, he has not won a 1500 global title since the Tokyo Games, but other than that, this man's resume has been close to immaculate. I fully expect to see Inga Brixen break more world records in the future, but getting all of these 10 world records is a little bit of a stretch in my opinion, but do not be surprised if he goes on to run even faster in the future. Thanks for watching everyone. And as always, until next time.